What up everyone, it's Killums, back with another tutorial video. Uh, this one is aimed at helping those looking to change their Steam controller config back to default in case you tried somebody else's controller config out, you ended up not liking it, or it messed with the feel of how your game felt before. I typically make tutorial videos like these if I personally was struggling trying to find a solution. I tried everything on the internet, nothing worked, and I finally found a solution that worked for me, and I hope this video helps you out as well. So hit the like button to help with the algorithm of this video. I appreciate any new subscribers that come from this tutorial. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get into the video. In this video, I'm going to be using IW4X as an example. IW4X is a 2009 Modern Warfare 2 mod that lets you play natively with a xbox controller on steam before i installed iw4x i tried to play vanilla mono warfare 2 through steam with mouse and keyboard and was trying to play with a controller the only way that i could do that was to set up a controller config as if my controller was my mouse and keyboard so i looked up controller configs on Google and found a really popular one that still has some issues uh, when you play and it's pretty much the first one that showed and I clicked on it um, I, I watched this guy's video um, and then in his description he had a link for the controller config so I copied it I pasted it open steam client bootstrapper and then this shows up as if it was uh in your steam already right left trigger is your right mouse um right trigger is your left mouse to shoot and all this stuff everything looks as if it was set up to work okay so if i turned on my controller manage controller layout so this is the default controller layout if i browse configs and i go here i'm gonna do this for the sake of this video you apply the configuration so everything is applied you hit done and now you can't go back there's no um if you browse configs th there's there's no default config right if i play with my controller on iw4x it's gonna input movement as if it was my mouse and keyboard because of these uh controller config options it makes your movement and aiming feel really weird it it doesn't feel natural at all i tried looking up solutions so there's this post here on reddit and basically it says follow all of these steps so steam config and then this would be the vdf file here so it's basically asking you to go here it's going to come up with all this and then you want to search for sdl underscore gamepad bind basically you copy this control c and then you press control f here to find what you want and then you type in this or you paste it here you find it and this is where it is okay so we found it here and this is what i already tried and i'm, I'm telling you right now it's not going to work it says and you delete everything underneath it save the file and then start steam and plug in the controller so basically you delete everything underneath it you hit delete yada yada um did not work so after about 45 minutes, I finally found a solution. I looked up another controller config on a different game and I found the layout to be what looks like a default layout. So what you have to do if you don't want someone else's controller config preset is delete the assigned button and assign it back to what it was originally and you have to do it manually i found it to be very annoying and tedious but this is literally the only way i found that actually works 
So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. And uh, basically, you want your controller config to look how it will look at the end of the fast forward. Pretty much what you want to do is you want to remove the bind that's already set on the button of the controller. In this case, Q, you want to right click on Q to remove it and then left click on left bumper and then that'll switch the bind back to left bumper. For other options that have more than one, um, you want to remove any extra uh, additional buttons or additional options, additional settings, whatever it is. Uh, you want to remove those and just you want the bind to be the button on the controller. That's it. Nothing more to it. Um, once you're all done with that, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. I wish there was a button on Steam where you could just reset uh, your key binds to the default controller that you're using, whether it's PS4, or Xbox, Steam controller, whatever. Um, there, there just isn't a button like that on here. So just follow this tutorial as is, and I'm pretty sure you won't have an issue with it at all. So. So after changing all of your settings, this is how your controller is going to look. You're going to basically replace everything that was there to the buttons on the controller and everything else should just run flawlessly. So after I did everything, I just launched IW4X. Again, it's a mod that you can play for uh, Modern Warfare 2 and uh, you can navigate through the menu. Um, sometimes you you do have to use a mouse to get to things that you normally can't. Um, with the controller, it just has its flaws. It's a mod. It's not the real game. Um, it, it's going to be like that no matter what. So I do, I do actually find this game to be really enjoyable um, more than anything else that's out there at the moment. Um, I'm really tired of Apex. I don't play Fortnite or don't play much uh, at the moment. I barely stream anymore. Um, I'm kind of trying to commit myself to make more YouTube videos rather than streaming. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, this is a little bit of gameplay of me playing with the controller. And like I said, it's not perfect. It does have native controller support, but it's not perfect. This game is a mod. It's gonna have its minor flaws and things like that. After a while of playing uh, controller, I ended up switching over to mouse and keyboard. I just find it to be a lot more comfortable uh, for me as I've been playing mouse and keyboard for the past couple of years. Um, picking up a, con a controller is just odd to me. Um, I do use a controller in some games um, where I just want to sit back and relax, but I get fucked up right here by a nade. Um, but yeah, I really hope this video helped you guys out. Drop a like if it did. And again, I appreciate any new subscribers that come from this tutorial. Um, join my community and I hope to see you guys again on another video.